man, it's Workers Leah, aka C Easy, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'll be showing off my entire jean collection. And just so you guys know, I have a wide variety of jeans. I'm talking about from skinny jeans to slim fit to a little bit baggy. Um, I basically have it all. So essentially, I'll be letting you guys know where I got it from and for how much and whether or not I think it was a good buy. And I will also probably be suggesting a few extra places that I would personally recommend for those of you guys who want to go ahead and get your hands on some nice denim. So without further ado, we're going to pull out all the pieces and we're going to get this video started. All right, guys, we're not going to waste any more time. about to go ahead and get started. As you guys can see, we have a whole bunch of denim right here behind me. All these pieces come from three places. The first section is from Paxson, the middle section is from Zara, and this end section right over here is from Minimal. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the very first piece. So for the very first piece, we have this nice, I call it like a light, deep blue denim, if that makes sense. So essentially, the reason why I'm giving it this description is because I have another pair, but it's not like a true light blue. Like when I think about this, it's like sky blue. Um, they do fit me skinny, they're active stretch. If you guys are into skinny jeans and you want a good pair, go to Patton and get the active stretch. These will fit any type of body type. My legs are pretty muscular, so whenever I wear skinny jeans, if they're stiff, it's, it's, it's not gonna work. So these, they are very, very stretchy. On top of that, it is the stress going down. It has a nice little wash down the middle and it has light distress on like the other side as well. It's overall, man, these jeans have held up so much and if you guys want to know the price they usually have a special it's usually buy one get one free or buy one get one 50 percent off so you're able to get two for about 75 dollars let's just say it's like 37.50 so it's less than 40 dollars per pair so to me i think that is like that's a good deal for me for some denim that will last you essentially a lifetime okay i'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like on body For that pair, it was the skinniest. Yeah, I know the skinniest ones that they have. So I mean, I like the way that they fit. So now we're gonna move on to the second one. For the second one, we have another one. It's in another deep blue color, except this one is more faded. Um, and this one for the size, it is 32 by 32, and it is the stack skinny. So the legs for this one is longer, and again, they're stacked, so they give gave me a different type of feel. Again, it's active stretch, but I prefer the other one over this one. I like it better um the distressing is about the same except i think this one is a little bit less but at the knee it has like a greater distress and overall like i said you can't go wrong with some pair of denim from patch it's an easy staple go to or at least for skinnies man if you want the skinnies these are most definitely an easy easy go to that is affordable again like i said for the pricing they are two for about 75 dollars so give or take like i said 37.50 So now that is gonna wrap up the light blue. So now this is my only pair of, I guess, what do you call this? Like a true pair of just blue jeans. These are like the only pairs that I have of like this color. I'm not gonna lie, I love them. Um, this size is just a regular skinny, but it's different uh, for the waist. I got a 31 length, 32. For this one, it wasn't distressed or anything, but I basically went ahead and made the distress cut myself. If you guys want me to make a video showing you guys how to do that, just let me know. I mean, it's fairly easy, but overall, it fits pretty nice for that skinny feel. Again, for, for me personally, I feel like with packs and jeans, they're all basically a standard. Like what you see is kind of like what you get. They do a good job of making it fit like all body types. And it, for the price that it's at, like you really can't pass up on it. Especially if you're, you know, tired on your budget and you don't want to like come off like hundreds of dollars for some denim. You can go ahead and spend, let's say like $200, not even $200. Let's say you got like $160 on you, $170. You can essentially get like a whole wardrobe full of you know just jeans I'm talking about from light blue dark blue black go ahead and throw you in another color and you have yourself a whole back to school you know wardrobe all right so we're still in the patch but we've officially went to i think this is the last piece yes this is the last patch and piece that i have and it's a black piece so essentially i used to have two both of them fit the same way except the other one i think i distressed this one i decided not to distress but that one basically tore 
place I ain't wanted to tear at, so that one had to go. So for this size, we have the skinniest, kind of like the first one we had, 31X32. I went ahead and I added this little piece to the side just to add a little bit of character. As you guys can see, it's just a nice regular wash. The thing about these, these used to be jet black, but after the washes, it gave it this faded look. And personally, I like the faded look on denim. Like this little wash, black look, I like it a lot. That's a whole lot better. I was gonna go ahead and distress it at the knees, but then I wouldn't have one that isn't. For a while, I was lacking, but you guys are gonna go ahead and see what I got to replace it. And again, whenever it comes to skinnies, okay? I know we're in a little skinny phase, I like Paxson. Paxson, they don't disappoint me whenever it comes to the skinnies. It's the type of feel that I want, it's the type of fit. I know this is like the fourth time that I said it, but I can't emphasize it enough. If you like skinny jeans and you do not want to break the bank, go ahead and shop at Paxson. They got great jeans. I'm talking about like these are going to last you for a while. All right, and now we finally entered a different brand, if that makes sense. Okay, so right now we have the only pair from Zara. And first thing first, let me go ahead and say Zara jeans, they pretty expensive, but I will say that you can see a jump in the quality. So these feel a whole lot heavier than each and every single one of these. But at the same time, this is double the price. So this basically cost me, I think, $75 or $80. I essentially put this together in a video. You guys check that out. It's gonna fire out for that Zara. As you guys can see, I was looking for like a distressed pair of black like skinnies. I feel like these aren't like super skinny like the other ones you saw, but they still have like a skinny fit. When we go down, it got a whole bunch of like wording on it. I really can't decipher it. If any of you guys can, go ahead and let me know. That's a little bit of distressing, not like to where it pierces your skin and you can see, but overall, I mean, it is nice, heavy duty, and it's like, it's gonna last. On top of that, they do have a little bit of the active stretch, but it's not like how Paxson's is, hence the reason why this one doesn't fit me as like snug as the other pairs. My size for them, I just went with the 32. I didn't wanna get something that's too tight on my waist, just because of the fact I knew that it wasn't gonna have that active stretch. So it is a stiffer pair of jeans, so I needed just a little bit of wiggle room, so I'm not like out here moving like, you know, like I can't move and stuff. All right, and for the next two pair of like jeans that I have, this is me stepping out of my comfort zone, okay? As you guys can essentially see, it's a whole lot of skinnies going on, basic colors. We're talking about light blue, regular blue, black, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy, but now in the minimal, I'm just now starting to transition into like, you know, a different type of style. I wanna step out like my comfort zone and start to kind of, you know, dip into like things that I have in my head, but I was always like on the fence about because I didn't have enough, you know, basic things in my collection. So as you can see, we have the Dumble Skeleton Denim. Um, it has a different name, I'll probably put it up on the screen. I went with a size 33 because minimal, their sizing is so weird, bro. You gotta size up, like maybe even size up twice. So we have this Skeleton Denim going across. It's the inspo of the white one. They had a white patched one, but I was like, bro, let me get something loud and different. I, I don't know what I wanna pull this out with, but as you guys can go ahead and see, it's loud. And it's not as loud in the front, it is just as loud in the freaking back. Overall, it has like a baggy feel to it, you know what I mean? It kind of fits like the cargo pants that they have. I have a lot of cargos from them. So make sure y'all check out the last video. But overall, man, I enjoy the fit, but one of the things that I have to, you know, knock them for is the fact they have buttons. I wish it was just a zipper. Trying to put these buttons on, it's just like a hassle whenever it comes to just putting on, you know, jeans. And again, this is a size 33. And it ended up costing me, I got it on a Black Friday. So let's just say like about $40, $45 for this pair. So it's not crazy expensive like Zara. I feel like it's right in the middle for this. Paxson being like the best deal, Minimal being in the middle, Zara being, you know, on the expensive end. And the quality for this piece is pretty good, I will say, but it is a stiffer piece. And for the last piece, I think it's called the D150 Denim. This is me really stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm as you guys see from the color to the distress, like everything about this pair of jeans is 
pretty crazy. Like it fits me baggy. I ended up having to change my size twice. At first I got a 31. It was my first time ordering from Minimal. I went to a 32. A 32 is still snug. And like my regular size, I can fit a 31, 32. So I essentially have to go up twice if I'm getting like any type of denim from them. But overall, you know, I mess with it a lot. It has a weird fit for my body type or like my leg type or whatever. I have big calves. So around like the knee to calf area, it tends to get real snug. But you guys can see all the distress. We have some cool little stitch work. We have like these. I don't even know, like we have these straps going around from your waist down to your knee to across or to around your knee on both sides. And again, some more of the little stitch work going across. We have a distress slit on the side of the pants. On the back, it is kind of like just regular. You just have this one strap going across. This one is better. It does have the zipper. And again, the size I went for is a 32. But I will recommend, if you guys are planning on getting any type of denim from Minimal, you probably gonna have to go up. I suggest going up two sizes because my true size my true waist size is a 31 i had to go up to basically a 33 to find a piece that actually fit me on top of that this piece was about the same as the last one right around the 40 to 45 dollar range again i was able to get these pieces on sale so i would recommend for you guys if you have like a discount code or if you want to wait for a holiday then go ahead and purchase some of these pieces These are each and every single one of the jeans that I have from Paxson, Zara, Minimal. I think these are great places to go ahead and get denim for affordable prices. Zara is out of there, but I can say that the feel of each and every single one of these pieces, Zara definitely has the best quality, especially for it to be a fast fashion play. Can't lie, the quality is spot on. This one I didn't mention, it has, the quality of this is good, it's heavy duty. Anyways, guys, let me know if you have purchased from any of these companies before and what are your experiences with their jeans? Do you recommend it? Comment where you guys buy jeans from or recommend that I go ahead and look to go ahead and buy jeans. Also, for those of you guys who do not want to spend this much money on denim, other places that I'll go ahead and basically recommend is this thrifting. If you can thrift, get it for like a few dollars and then let's say you want to make it into skinny go ahead go to a tailor they'll probably do it for like 10 to 15 dollars you got yourself a nice pair for half the price of you know any of these you can be like 10 to 20 dollars buy the piece get it tailored very easy make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel i'm so close to 3,000 subscribers at the time of recording this video i'm at 2.94 60 subscribers away so you guys go ahead and join us but anyway support chris lee aka c easy and i'm out